What's good? What's good? What's good? Back for episode two of the uh, I don't know what the fuck we call it yet, but the pod. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just my boy Cam. Cam, what's good, man? Uh, chilling, man. It's my Friday, man. So feeling real oh, good. Oh man, what a flex! Oh yeah, yeah. Hey. keep on going, huh? You know what I mean, like. Hey, I'm about to go ahead and pop after we do this, man. I'm gonna pop open one of these bottles. You know, I'm gonna get my uh stormtrooper uh um snuggy and I'm um, just gonna make a night out of it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, what kind of bottle is it? Is it pink rose? Uh nah, uh I don't have none of that. You know, with I, I have some just with your snuggy with your pink rose. I got, I, you know, it's it's pink Moscato, but pink Moscato. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I could give yeah, my my I'm, I'm sassy, bitch. I'm, I'm sassy, you. bitch. Switching it up, switching it up. <laughs> went from the went from the Thursday to the Moscato. I see you, I see you, ho. You flex on them, you, you know, flex on them, ho. Let me see what Olivia Pope up to, you know. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> man, I was good with you, man. Man, nothing, man. Speaking of Olivia Pope, which makes me think uh Carrie Washington, which makes me think of bad bitches. Mm. Bro. My favorite kind. Yeah. Um what what was the occupation of the girl that you've had the nastiest sex with? What was her job? <laughs> Social worker. Oh my god. Okay, cool. Cause mine was a teacher. Uh, you know, it's just something, it's just something about them roles, man, where they where they you know, because you can only be like a really given person, you know, when you work those types of occupations. And you know hey, that <laughs> and uh, you know, usually I hate when a woman bring her work home with her, but yeah, that was like, that like was, man, I had, I had, man, old girl, she, uh, she was on some work from home type stuff. I had a little laptop out and everything, and uh, I was pre twenty twenty, huh? Pre twenty twenty. Uh, nah, this this is twenty twenty. This is. Uh, I'm thinking this is some. I'm thinking this is some work from home. Like, oh, she been on that before. Ah, uh, yeah, before it was a thing. Nah, nah, yeah, nah. Yeah. She she with the rest of us, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but nah, she she had a computer out and everything. She appeared on this real crazy, you know, case, you know, it's a kid about to be stripped from their home. And you know, just some real some real sad stuff, man. And I mean, and she just unzipped my pants, started sucking my dick. I'm like, damn, man. Like, wow. Yeah, you know, I'm like, man, I'm still, you know, I'm I'm concerned for this kid, but Man, oh crazy! Yeah, right. Lift your spirits. You know what I'm saying? Like, Lift your spirits. I understand Lift. it's a stressful job. You know, that's all I'm saying. Like, yeah. I mean, it's what I'm, it's what I'm here for, girl. I'm here to, I'm here to help you out. Yeah. Now we were, uh, we were getting like, we were getting down, and um, you know, everything was cool until you know she started circling my bee hole. With a finger like Jaws around some prey like this, and I like heard <laughs> the music in my head. I yeah, was like, man. yeah, I was like, oh, ain't this, oh ain't this, shit. Ain't this, ain't this. <laughs> this is this is going way too far. This is this is going way too far, way too fast. Yeah. And you know, I had to like hurry up and like switch like positions because you know I didn't want to like kill a mood, like get the fuck off me, like like flip out and shit. But like, you know, I wanted her like, like I like I like your energy, but you just, you know what I mean? Let's just let's just break it so like, like I like your enthusiasm. Like I like that you like, you know, you let me know, like, hey, I'm all I'm down for all kinds of stuff. But just right. you know what I mean, just pivot. Just pivot the, you like wait, just pivot a little bit over here because it's 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 becoming concerning. Yeah, man, like now, I, I've never had, I had one that kept trying to like, you know what I'm saying? She was, you know what I'm saying? Going down, she's sucking the dick, you know what I'm saying? She'd go down to the balls, 
and she go under the balls and you know it's time you know it was getting real close and like like hey don't get me wrong because i'm nasty as fuck like i'm for i'm for all the shit but i gotta i feel like i need to pace myself like i'm i'm just 35 you know i, I don't got i don't need to check everything off to lift by 40 you know like getting my ass eight is more of a, a 45 ish kind of thing for me you know what i'm saying don't don't make me grow up before I'm supposed to. You know what I mean? Like, let me live. Yeah, just just take it, just take yeah. it pro. You know, yeah, a real pro. Time. This is what a real pro does. She can give you that regular sloppy top that's so good that you end up with like your cheeks being like you ain't really had no dome and you ain't got up and your ass ain't wet. Like, oh. you know what I mean? Oh. And as you and as you walk into the and as you walk into the bathroom, you can hear the squid like the squish. Uh, yeah, that's when you, that's when she went to work. Yeah, man. When, yeah. They, when they doing that thing and it sound like a, a washing machine started up, yeah, you know you about to get that, you about to get cleaned up real good. Oh, man. Mm. God, was, God bless them. If you type of lady that you out there and this is how you get down, God bless you. The world needs more of you. I swear it do. That's for your country. You know what I mean? Just just straight up. Like God, God bless you. Cause you know, whack ass bitches, man. Not even just whack ass, whack shit, man. Whack shit in general, man. Like, you know, I was talking with you earlier about um, you know, what we're gonna talk about today. And I was like, man, things that need to go in 2021. Like, like, I mean, and we could just name off like, oh man, all kinds of shit. You ain't name one I, I want to speak on. We already kind of talked like the negative, the negative uh, tone that comes with eating ass. That's, that's still gotta around. Go. That's got to go in twenty twenty one. It's it's that time. Like, do you remember, like when we was little? And like in the 90s, man, and like eating pussy was like frowned upon. Oh, oh. like, oh, nigga, you eat pussy? Oh, oh. You know? what, what are you, some kind of fag? Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, oh, bitch ass, uh, oh, bitch ass nigga eating hey, pussy. Oh, like they, oh. like they want to drink out your water glass or nothing if you ate pussy. Yeah, like, oh. They couldn't even get it, like, you was with your, with your fan, like, oh, don't let him get a popsicle, he eat pussy. Like, what they got to do with, like, me and the popsicle? Like, it's the summer right. time, I'm hot. <laughs> like, what? Right, but check it now. Like, look at how, like, now it's the revert. It's like, if you don't eat pussy, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? And, like, it's, it's, it's changed, and I feel like it's about that time for that to happen with eating the ass. Like, all right, we honestly, you know, bro, I really feel like it's already there for the most, for the most part because most of the time, remember, I remember like in high school, I heard one of my friend's older brother say that like you know this chick ate his ass, and I was like, oh that bitch is nasty, yeah. Ugh. But now me as a grown man, I'm like, oh that bitch is nasty, oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> nasty. Oh, that'd be nasty. <laughs> oh, that'd be nasty. Mm. Just hey, same I word, guess. completely different meaning and tone. Man, I, I didn't know how to, I never really knew like how to feel about all of that back in the day. You know, I'm like, you know, I'm, like, you know, like I'm a kinky dude, but it just sounds, you know, like what position is cool? Like you gotta, you know, it's chicks like a, you know, you know, like they gotta have a, a certain level of masculinity, you know, and not that toxic masculinity, just normal, you know, talk, you know, normal masculinity. So, like, what position do you sit? In? You know, like, do I oh. do I toot that ass up or do I yeah, like, do you, like, like an all fours thing or do I just yeah, like, like, do I lay you on your back? But I, I kind of like get you like almost in like the butt up arched position unless I got your right. legs back. You know what I mean? Like, is that comfortable for you or your legs gonna go to sleep for hold you like that too long? Like, right. what, right. all these, what, all is, these what is the proper way to eat ass? 
you know. Hey, chime yeah. in on that, y'all. Like, hit us, hit us up, hit hit up the uh, the email or whatever. Let us know the proper way to eat ass, because we we you know, like, I don't know. I mean, to get your ass ate, I know I know how I like to eat ass. I you know I know that, but yeah, that's a whole nother story. I, how what's the proper way how for do, how do you how do you eat ass though? Like, do you do you just you know what I mean? Like. What? It gotta be first, first and foremost. It gotta be fresh out the shower, ass fresh. Out I mean, the- I thought we were like already like some things are without question, like you yeah, know. yeah. And, but and here's I, the, here's but the other thing: like, you ever have a, you ever have like you know, I'm, I'm jumping around here, hold that thought. But you ever have like motherfucking dogs and shit. You ever have like a chick go too far, too fast? And it immediately make you nervous. Like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not that I don't like you trying to eat my ass or whatever, but like, this is like our first night together. Like, I just matched with you like two days ago. Man, like, I just swipe right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now, and you pretty, are. And you're pretty good looking too. And it make you even more nervous when like she's like really pretty. Like, oh man, like. Like what? What happened to you? Like, like if this is like a, if this was like a mediocre to like ugly chick just being like, let me eat that ass. I'd be like, ah, right, she might feel like she has to do this. But if you're just like a really pretty chick, you're like, who damaged you? Like, hey man, I've had two really, really pretty ones that you know that was just nasty like that, right? Right. And, they both ended up being the craziest motherfuckers I've ever talked to. Like, uh, I, I remember, I think I was telling you about the one that, you know, you know what I'm saying, we getting down and, you know what I'm saying, I'm doing my thing and, she, you know what I'm saying, she's feeling it, she's loving it, you know what I'm saying, and, you know what I'm saying, she get that, she get that nut, she come, and uh, while I'm inside of her, I'm still stroking, a tear come out her eye, and, and she says, if you ghost me, I'll kill you. Hmm. Nigga, I'm, I'm in the pussy. I'm still in the pussy. Like, what do I do? Like, what? I feel and like, my- like, I stop, you know, and she's looking. And then she just starts laughing. She's like, just kidding. <laughs> Nigga, I my dick would have literally did like Kevin and Home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, I, I did not feel safe. Yeah, that's um, that's that's really scary. So yeah, so so nasty and pretty equals crazy. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Nasty and pretty equals crazy. You're not saying like. You know, if anybody out there like, oh, I'm nasty and I'm pretty, and I'm, we're not talking about your kind of nasty. We're talking about like, like, ugh, like nasty. Like I'm, like I'm, I'm letting you do this, but I'm disgusted at the same time. Like, it's dope. Don't get, it's dope, but like, damn, like, you, you nasty. Oh, that man. is nasty. Like, where you got to really worry about like how many asses she done ate. Right, like, am I the first one this week? Right, cause you, you, eating, this is this is this is aggressive ass eating too, like aggressive. You know, like if she's like, don't worry about the uh, the lack of toilet paper, you know what I'm saying? In the country, you got me. Then okay. she the kind right. of too far, too much. I mean, yeah, yeah, no, if she's, if, but you a sick dude, so I shouldn't be surprised, so. Yeah, I'm pretty, that's I that dabble. That's a, ah, this nigga, this sick dude said, <laughs> don't worry about the shortage on toilet paper, you got me, wow, man. If that bitch talking about taking you to a scat club, you better believe there ain't no fucking jazz there. She like, she like, Charmin don't got shit on me. 
This is the end of the second podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Sponsors <laughs> out there, you can have your product on this great content. Where else are you going to hear these hot takes about eating ass? And when is it appropriate for a pretty girl to eat ass? And the enthusiasm of eating ass. So, you know, let's see. What's a good uh, sponsor for that shit right now? Uh, you know... And why your dog just show up when we talk about eating ass, though? Like, I ain't seen your dog. Like, we've been on this podcast shit for a minute, and now, like, we talk about eating ass, and then your dog just like, hey, man. That's your dog. See, you, I see dog. you train him. That's, that's my dog. <laughs> see, eating. Eating ass. His dog came in like, <laughs> What, what about you, man? What uh, what you want to see gone in twenty twenty one? Oh man, what do I want to see gone? Oh, uh, it's so many things, man. Um, I don't even know where to uh where to start, man. Um, you know, outside of just like bitch ass people in general, you know what I mean, that I want to see gone. I feel like that's a that's a given. They were here way before 2020, though. Man, um, I was talking to you about this. I don't know about something that can be gone, but, you know, I know what can stay, and that's people wearing masks over uh, over my food when I, when, they, when I go get it at fast food restaurants. Like, think about, think about, like, how much the world is going to change after this whole Corona thing blows over. Like, think about shit like birthday parties. Remember when you have birthday parties, you just used to have some random food to blow over your cake. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We was wilding, bro. Yeah, reckless. We was reckless, bro. And that and that was the same ass eating. You know, it's all over the motherfucking cake. You just found the ass. Best. You just. You just found the way, didn't you? We was all we was off that. I was on to some oh, serious, like, finished with ass eating. Corona shit, and you just brought it right back to the ass eating. But it only hey, makes man. sense. Hey man, you know, my nigga is who he is. I can't. <laughs> you know, we were friends. But that, I can't. But that's can't. one of the. You know, what, honestly, that's one of the first things. Like you think about somebody that don't brush their teeth. You think about somebody sick. Think somebody eating some nasty ass. Like these these are things that I don't want someone uh who's blowing out candles all over this cake I'm about to eat to do. You know? Now if you got good good hygiene, you know, you brush your teeth regularly. Well, I mean know. in most cases when there's birthday candles, it's kids. So, you know, hope well, don't get me wrong, every now and then it is some adults with candles and stuff. But yeah. you know, I'm I'm I've been careful about that. Like, if I had a homegirl who was like um, wild now, and I knew she talked to a lot of dudes, and we went to the bar together, you know what I mean, just as friends, and she was like, "Here, try this drink." I'd be like, mm, "That's cool. What you got? I'll just order one." Mm. Yeah. You know what? I've been putting that. I'm 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 grown now, but I mean, I was grown then, but. Like I've been put in that situation before and I, I was just, I felt the pressure and I'm like, uh, you know, I ain't trying to make nobody feel some type of way. Fuck, I'll drink the drink. But 90% of those times I was hella uncomfortable. Like, here, try try mine. Like, what? Yeah, like. I don't fuck with you like that. I mean, yeah, I don't, like. I mean, you cool, I, but. Yeah, man, I know the type of reckless niggas you talk to and they probably yeah, I'll probably do all kinds of shit. So, yeah. so I'm gonna just just tell me what you got. And tell me what you got, and suggest that I should get one from the bar myself. Right, and I'm and and, and on another note, and another note on that, like we grown. Like I don't, I don't need to fucking try your drink, bitch. I can buy my own. You know, like yeah, try some wine. Like that's my only way, huh? I'm the bar's oh, right there. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, I'm, it's it's a uh, it's a wrap on that shit. Uh, I guess that's some shit that need to go in 2020. Asking me to try your fucking drink. Try your drink. That needs don't, to go in 2020. Don't. I don't want to taste after your fucking drink. Like that, 
That definitely needs to go. Bro, I was with, uh, I was driving my wife's car and I forget, since it was her car, I didn't have my mask in there. And so she had a mask and I was like, oh my God, I gotta put her mask in my face. Now keep in mind, like me and my wife, like we kiss, we're quite intimate, you know, whatever. Yeah. And even putting on her mask, I was like, oh my God, I don't like, I don't know how she breathes in this. Like what if her breath is on it? Like, right. you know I mean, like, ain't like my wife don't brush her teeth. Like my wife is quite hygienic. Matter of fact, I feel like she showers so fucking much. And then when she'd be like, you know, man, this water bill look kind of hot this month. I'm like, well, you shower for like an hour right. at a time. Yeah, you 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 like to get your water on. Right. That's neither here nor there, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah. But yeah, man, that's, um, uh, yeah. Yeah, I feel I feel the same way, man. Uh, and it, it's it's other weird stuff. Like I'm I'm like that uh, with like I've I've had, you know, significant others and stuff where they was like it's another thing. Somebody trying to have you try their food, and I have a thing about like using somebody else's fork, man. Like, like you know, so we yeah, could somebody, make, like we could be right. we could be making out and stuff and doing all the you know normal uh, significant significant other stuff. But then you bring me like here, try some of this, and I'm like, yeah, I, let me go get a fork of my own. Yeah, and, and I'm gonna stab it on the side. It looks like you ain't really stabbing yet. Right, right. If I ain't been touched, like let me get that little corner right there. You know. Yeah, so. I don't want anything with your mouth particles and probably. Yeah. Hit. What? Why yeah. is that? I don't, I, don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know. It I don't, don't make know. sense. I don't know. Like you know, we you know we even talked about doing all kinds of nasty shit, and then. You know, but then like I don't like eating brown spots on bananas either. So I don't I'm not I'm not I don't really trip off of that too much. I, I think I can I can I don't yeah, I just eat. Nah, I'm I'm too I'm still too CD for that. I'll be like, uh, this banana bad. <laughs> but I but I will say this like I don't like my green juice to touch everything though like if i'm eating some greens or something oh, bro i don't even eat i don't even eat greens yet my spinach or something like i don't like my my juice man you gotta like i either put in another bowl because if it hit if it hit that cornbread it's a wrap like right i'm yeah. not eating that old soggy ass cornbread yeah no nah, for sure you know what i'm saying uh, yeah, that's it. i want some greens though yeah, that, that does sound. Uh, right. Actually, it don't. I, I don't even eat greens. What? Yeah, I don't. I know it's it it's a uh, it's definitely a black card, like you know what I mean, a black foul on my part, you know. But I don't I don't eat greens. I had them last time I had them. I was a kid, and I keep hearing as a kid, as a kid, and I didn't like them. I had greens since you were a kid. Since I was a kid. That's crazy. Like, yeah. And so now I keep hearing other black adults who didn't like greens as a kid say, you need to try them now with your adult taste buds. And yeah, I, like that. I mean, definitely. I can't remember, now that I really think about it, I can't remember if how much I liked them as a kid. Like, I, I think I, I still ate them then, but like, I didn't, I don't know if I like fucked them up like I do now. Like I eat, like it was more yeah, of a see, like. I guess I don't, I guess I don't get it. Maybe, uh, I'm sure like my family cooks greens really good cause I'm like the only weirdo that don't eat them. And they have like all the, the meat or whatever the fuck in it and da 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 da. But like in my mind, I'm always like, so you want me to eat soggy ass leaves? You want me to eat soggy ass plant leaves with like some meat kind of like it was like soaked in meat but it's like soggy ass fucking like leaves basically oh my god man that is the most like you can tell you haven't ate them since you was a kid because i feel like you had that that was your first thought <laughs> like, right yeah there. yeah no that's I'm like the soggy. It's that's what it is though. It's soggy ass plants in wherever the fuck you put greens in. Man, you know that's crazy, man. Like I, 
But, but here's the thing though. If I go to somebody's house and the greens are there, if ain't no other black people eating greens, I know to watch out for that food overall. Because while I know that I don't eat greens, I know that they are the measure of like, you know, every black person loves greens. So if you made greens and they trash, like, and it's a whole like pot of greens there, ain't nobody even touching them. You know I don't eat none of this other food. My 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 food for that for that is always gonna be mac and cheese. Like the mac and cheese is the staple of the black meal, man. Like on oh, yeah, the staple. What like okay, so staples of staples of black uh meal. So macaroni and cheese, greens, dressing. Uh that's the uh dressing is yeah. Oh yeah, man, dressing is huge in my family. Yeah, it, 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 I say dressing, but because uh, it's because dressing is big with everybody. You know what I mean? Like dressing is a trick. Everybody one. like who? Like other races? Yeah, white people fuck some dressing up. White people stuff some or fuck some stuffing up. Touche. Yeah. Touche. Most of the time, but they, they mess with dressing too. They fuck with dressing too. But Man, yeah. I don't know no I don't know no white people. And I know a lot of white people. I don't know no white people who've ever made dressing. I know a few. Yeah, I know a few. Did you have but, it? Did you eat it? I don't eat everybody's food, man. Um, ah. Yeah, I don't eat everybody's food. So they good, though. I, I seen a couple that look good, but I just I can't fuck with it. Like, I'm real, you know, especially when it comes to like some Thanksgiving meal type stuff. Like, yeah, no. Like, Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays. So, like, like, don't ruin, like, next to Halloween and everything. Like, so don't, don't ruin my, my holiday by bringing me this filth, you know? No, I'm, 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 uh, yeah, no, I'm a huge dressing fan, but I don't hear everybody else's food either. Uh, okay, so that's, that's three. That's uh, greens, dressing, macaroni and cheese. We got to throw a pastry in there. I'm going to say sweet potato pie. Oh. I'm going to say sweet potato pie. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Easy. All right. Uh, and I feel like yams kind of falls in that same kind of sweet potato pie category of like, you know what I mean? Kind of like the cooked candied potato, you know, whatever. Wow. Uh, Again, I don't eat them, but chitlins. Black people love chitlins. And I, you know what? I did the opposite of, of what you did with grains with chitlins. Like when I was a kid, I used to I used to fuck some chitlins up, man. I thought that shit was bomb. I'm like, man, I you know, got the little hot sauce and shit. I'm like, oh my god, this is good. You never. Man, I was like, why does why does it smell like ass? Yeah, that's all I get. Like, all I it's ass. Like, not even the good kind that we were talking about eating before. Like, the nasty ass. Like, the, you know what I mean? Like, I just got off a 12 hour shift, you pig know, ass. working, working, uh, twerking for yeah, 12 hours. Yeah, pig ass. Yeah, the nasty ass. Yeah, pig ass. Yeah. Yeah, it's just not, nah, I can't do it, man. Yeah, no, I, I uh, um, but well, it never will, but that brings me to another one, though. You can go ahead. But another thing that needs to go in 2021 is black people eating all this unhealthy food and calling it a staple. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Kool-Aid. Like, you know, somebody went ham on me about a month ago because I said I haven't had Kool-Aid in like a decade. It's probably been about that long for me, too. But it's like... It's not good. It's not. We I, I I I I disagree with you there. I think that Kool-Aid is not good for you, but I'm not gonna sit here and let you say the Kool-Aid is not good. You know what, man? Like Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid is is nectar of the gods on a hot summer. Whoa, you better stop right now. You I can't, tell me. 
You mean yeah, tell me, take my black card on that one. You mean tell me I, on a hot summer day, on a, on a hot, hot, hot summer day, right? A big ass glass with a bunch of with a bunch of fill all the way to the top with ice, right? With the Kool-Aid, with the right amount of sweetness. Now, I'm not saying make it so sweet that you're losing a leg as soon as you get done with that glass. <laughs> all right. Hey, what? Right, I'm not saying that motherfucker's going to shut your kidneys down as soon as you drink that motherfucker for like that perfect amount of sweetness out of like that plastic cup, that big old plastic cup that every black house guy with the, with a whole bunch of ice in that motherfucker had a, and be sitting there on the porch when the porch is hot as fuck and you drinking that Kool-Aid. Woo! That, that right, that is, that's life. That's life. Now, any any fucking ice cold beverage, but no that that shit was good, nigga. We even broke down. We even broke down. It was like drinking wires at my house. Yeah, we had that. See that that's the thing. Like we had all that shit. Like because we were poor as fuck, and like Kool Aid Kool Aid back in the day was like ten packs for ten cent. <laughs> you know, some kind of crazy shit. Ten packs for a dollar or some shit. Oh right, no, like, I don't remember. No, I remember. Uh. Kool Aid went up to uh like uh ten. It's like twenty five cent now, right? Oh, nigga, my mom will lose her mind. My mom, my mom flipped shit in Country Mart when the uh when the Kool Aid got up to like ten cent a pack. She was like, "Oh hell no, nah, they tripping." Yeah. I was like, "I was like, mom, it was just it's just three more cent. Like, how much do you want? You know what I mean? Yeah, man, listen, hey, bro, man, like that that Kool Aid." Like as an adult that's had like actual juice <laughs> like in my life now, like Kool-Aid is the most garbage cold beverage oh, that you can so, have. You so disrespectful. Like, what? You show you name, so disrespectful. Name me a name me a beverage. Watch Wait, your no, blasphemous no, tongue. Give me out. You go name, watch your blasphemous name, tongue. How name, dare you? Name me, name me one beverage. Name me one ice cold beverage that, that Kool Aid is beating. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to say, hey, it's. it's it was fire because we were broke. We were poor, man. We grew up in a gutter. Oh. And so we had like. We had like any kind of fruit we wanted for ten cent, nigga. No, nah, any kind man. of fruit. Drink. You know what? We gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you some, my nigga. Cause, right. Cause I'm, I'm I'm interested, man. Like I can't think of one. Even <laughs> Tampico, nigga. Like, and that's just terrible. I'm gonna show you some. I'm gonna learn you some, little nigga. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm ready for class. I'm gonna learn you some, little nigga. All right. First and foremost, all right. We can go ahead. Mm hmm. I'm gonna learn you some, little nigga. What you know about this Rockadale Red right here? Have you ever had Rockadale Red? Um, let me get back to you. Rockadale. Rockadale Red, nigga. You ain't never had that or the purple dinosaur flavor? I can't I can't say that I have. Purple Source Rex? This sounds like some shit after I stopped, I stopped drinking it. That's why you don't like it. You sitting here disrespected, and you don't even know your Kool Aid lineage. Man, this oh, is this is uh, this is new shit. I don't know nothing about what this, is this that? shit. Is not new, bro. Look how old oh, my, this, look how old this print on here look, bro. This shit is not new, old, bro. That dinosaur do look old. You're right. That dinosaur man. is from like nine. Look at this comic book this nigga was from. That shit looks like the land man, before man. time. <laughs> that, shit yeah, like that shit is older than the land before motherfucking time, bro. That shit is yeah. old as fuck. Marvel Comic Group presents the Adventures of Kool-Aid, man. Wow. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. 
Oh, yeah, you I forgot. forgot this. This is the one you remember. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. You gonna you you got the nerve. You got you the nerve. My question. You got the nerve to answer. I just gave you two examples that of two that was dope. And you can't refuse. No, I didn't say I didn't say what was I didn't say I didn't say tell me what's dope. I said name me a beverage that Kool-Aid is better than. Man, bro, let me see. First of all, I feel like I feel like if we just go on just straight off like taste, like I mean, well, I would drink. I I I think I would drink my favorite Kool Aid flavor over like Mountain Dew. Nah, not even that. Not even the uh, meth head Mountain Dew. Is less than uh, right, man. less than Kool Aid, bro. You know what? I I don't I don't even know what to say to you right now. The disrespect that come out your mouth, like how do you even fucking sleep at night, nigga? Like, man, you wilding, bro. Like we, I'm hey, wilding. Listen, I'm wilding. Like, let's have people that like, hey, chime Kool-Aid, in. Kool Aid, Kool Aid ain't Kool Aid ain't getting nothing hey, for man. you. This is how niggas get niggas get niggas get a little cash and get uppity. And then forget all about Kool Aid and what Kool Aid <laughs> did for them. Get the fuck I know, I out say, of here. Uh, peace to the people. Man, you know, likewise. Uh, we'll catch y'all. Thanks for watching. And um, holla at us next week. Peace. Peace.